Hello, all my friends in Texas, Oklahoma, and Arkansas. I'm John Felt, and this is the weekly water outlook from Blue Water Outlook on November 25th, 2012. Well, I don't know how many ways I can say this. These uh, patterns have been very similar now for many weeks, if not many months. Most of Texas and Oklahoma received no rain whatsoever last week, with the exception of the Far East, as well as much of Arkansas. And as I make this recording, I keep on thinking, hey, do I have the right image here because it looks so similar to past number of weeks? Um, what we see here is the normal amounts of rain. These are the normal days that it rains in the parts of Texas and the south. And generally, three and a half to five and a half inches uh, are days that we get some rain. A little bit heavier in that green part um, over eastern parts of Arkansas. More like seven days or eight days in that region. Now, if we look at the percent of normal over the last week, with no rain, percent of normal zero, and typically we receive at least one day of rain over a week in November. And what we've seen here now for the last three or four weeks with no rain, we're running well below normal for the days of rain in November. I know that's no surprise to you because it's been very dry with the exception of Arkansas. Now, we do have some changes um, coming over the next couple weeks, and as we head into December, I'd like to talk about here. But first of all, this week, the jet stream, as we've seen for quite some time, is well to the north of our region. Early in the week, it's uh, more in the middle part of the nation, and then it pulls a little bit further north uh, early in, or later in the week. And there is a, going to be a dip in the jet stream that's going to bring a frontal boundary through uh, the middle part and the eastern part of the U.S., and very similar to the last couple weeks, that's going to affect the far eastern parts of Oklahoma, far eastern parts of Texas, most of Arkansas before it moves off to the east. And that's going to be that pattern we've seen over and over again. Some of that is climatologically uh, normal and be expected. There is definitely a difference between the western parts of the south and the eastern parts. But still the intensity, the fact that we're getting no rain whatsoever, that's more significant. Now, something we're going to have to watch very closely, I'm watching this um, develop, is the development of a certain oscillation called the North Atlantic Oscillation and the Arctic Oscillation, NAO and AO. Oscillations are just differences of pressure. There's an imbalance um, between four northern Arctic um, regions and more temperate climates. And when you get these imbalances, the atmosphere is going to try to balance itself out. And that usually means that it's either going to be warmer or colder, and it can impact precipitation as well. Now, as we get into the end of November into early parts of December, what we see here, I have outlined in the red area here, is significantly prolonged uh, periods of the negative phase of both the NAO and the AO. Um, it's not only significant because it's going to be prolonged in time, maybe even going into the, at least the middle part of December, but it's going to be fairly significant. You can see here the Arctic Oscillation, how deep this gets compared to the last one in October that uh, influenced the weather and precipitation. So I think there's a high confidence that this is going to occur. Models don't go too far out in more than two weeks or so in forecasting this. But the consensus of the models, that's the, the ones in the little squiggly lines in red, you can see almost all of them, if not all of them, are calling for a significant negative phase Arctic Oscillation. And these are the patterns, a typical pattern we get when that cold air spills south. We have a dip in the jet stream, a significant dip in the jet stream over the eastern part of the U.S. And the most significant impacts with a strongly negative phased NAO or AO is cold and um, perhaps more snow in parts of the northeast U.S. and definitely colder than normal temperatures over the eastern parts of the nation. Over the south central part, we're right on the edge of the impacts with that. Now the jet's going to dig south. That could enhance precipitation over Arkansas, um, perhaps again over far east. But with the jet dipping to the east um, U.S., it's going to build in the western U.S. And I think that's going to overall reinforce the dry area over most of Texas, Oklahoma, as well as much of Arkansas as well. Uh, even though we're getting into this NAO uh, pattern, the impacts are uh, mainly dry over the southwest U.S. And that's going to extend over Texas as well. And we see that even though we're not under that influence quite yet, this is the precipitation forecast from one model for the next seven days. And what you see here is you see that very distinct line again between east and west. 
keep in mind that the trends of the models have been over forecasting rain uh, for the last month or so. Even though the patterns, the alignment have been pretty good, they've been over forecasting. Now, another thing keep in mind, I want you to keep in mind is the fact that this back line here, uh, don't get too hung up on that. Uh, I think that could very well be zero rain. What you want to look at here is more the blue or the dark green where the edge of that will be. And I think this is reasonable. This is what we've seen. Much of Arkansas um, and only the far eastern part of Texas and Oklahoma, any of the significant rain. And there's been definitely a very big difference with Arkansas getting much of these, the rain from these systems. And even though it hasn't been heavy, there's been a modest amount with each one of these frontal passages. And you only have to go 50, 60 miles to the west, and there's been no rain whatsoever. And I've shown that on these, um, this is trends and threats, um, these red line here. This has been that persistent pattern of wet to the east or to the right of that line and dry to the west. And part of that is based in climatology. But I think, again, the extremes are significant here that it's really gone from uh, closer to normal precipitation to the right of that line to well below normal to the west. So the outlook for this week, once again, well below normal precipitation, only 25% or less drought will persist over almost all of Texas except the very far east, much of Oklahoma. And then to the east of that line, um, Arkansas will be in the influence of that system, that frontal passage, a little bit of moisture there, could get a quarter inch to a half inch of rain, once again, a modest amount of rain, and then further off to the east, uh, likewise, similar amounts. I put this in here, I'll put this in from time to time, and, and, and definitely this is for general type guidance, um, give you some outlook out, uh, on when I might see a pattern change. So green is generally on the dry side, um, and then orange is more on the wet side, and then I have a transition if I see that. So I'll try to sort of give you a longer outlook here when I see that transition, and this could change any time, this could change in the middle of the week. It, could change next uh, time I do the outlook. But right now, I don't really see one of those transitions. It looks to me like as we get into through the middle of December, this overall uh, tendency towards drier than normal weather looks like it's going to continue to me. Um, like I said, this is something more general in nature, but I will try to put this in here to give you a heads up if I do see a trend uh, change. So the weekly outlook for this week, status quo, what we've seen now for months, zero rain west and central Texas, uh, parts of Oklahoma, and then wetter in Arkansas, and then that developing strong negative NAOAO into December, and I'll be watching that very closely. That, I'm not going to say that won't have any impact right now, but I will be watching that to see how much of that will slide off to the west and perhaps uh, affect parts of Arkansas and maybe eastern parts of Texas and Oklahoma. I thank you for listening to this week's Outlook. I will be updating this next Sunday. We'll be issuing my newsletter around the first of the month and uh, blogs throughout the week. If you find this information useful, uh, please pass it along to others and urge them to subscribe um, if you find the information useful again. Uh, thank you very much. I'll be talking with you again next week.